Hey guys, you know what they say that you will never really run out of things to improve or things to do in your home? Well, I find the same is true also for your garden. So today I'm excited to tell you that we are going to make another makeover and this time we're going to make over my elevated deck seating area of my garden. I'm very excited. So let's do this. So this is my elevated deck seating area guys. This is also a terrace garden because 10 years ago this backyard used to be a sliding slope. So what I did was make three levels or terraces. The first level uh, is where I made this jungle design in my last video. So if you have time please check it out. This is the second layer. And although it is slightly elevated and the last and lowest level is where you can find the vertical garden as you can see on the right side now this deck garden is dominated by this amazing 16 foot Calatea loteas which I planted I think in December 2019 and that makes it more than a year old now and this whole area is also my Syngonium and Aglonema corner, so a lot of Syngoniums and Aglonemas can be found here with a variety of Peperomias and other plants as well. This area has received a lot of arrangement and rearrangement over the last months, so uh, here's some of its previous look. Take a peek. So this will be our design guys today. We will first create a linear wood design on the concrete steps and put some crush racks on it. Then we will also put another plant rack on the right side to elevate some of the plants. We will put more racks inside the deck to give it a more uniform look and um, it will also help in increasing the humidity especially now that it's uh, almost summer. And lastly, we will transform the old table into a something like a Lord of the Rings inspired, I call it the Elven table and make a few rearrangement of plants after that. So that's it. For the linear wood design guys, on the steps, we will use this metal purlanes and paint it with black enamel to keep it brass proof. Then we will set it aside and let the paint dry. Alright, next let's take care of this table. This table is a plastic monoblack table and uh, it's the only table in this garden so I, I don't need to buy a new one. Let's just create something out of this model black table I painted it with black enamel paint because I wanted to match it with this black chair but now since we're trying to harmonize all the elements of our tropical garden we will convert this table into a wood looking table with twigs and all so that's what we're gonna do with this table what we will do with this table is to first paint it with white flat latex paint, set it aside and let it dry. So after the metal purlanes have dried, we will also apply it with flat white latex paint. Set it aside and let it dry. Now going back to the table after the latex paint have completely dried, now we can apply the wood stain. To make a wooden design guys, we need this, a clean dry piece of cloth. 
and start marking it regularly with wooden patterns. Remember, it need not be perfect, okay? The more irregular, the more natural it will look later when it dries. Voila! Here's our wooden table from a plastic monoblast. Isn't it amazing? <laughs> now, going back to the metal purlines, we will just do the same thing like what we did to the table. Next thing that we will do guys is to cover the table's legs with twigs and vines. And now it's time to install the linear wood design on the deck steps.
So it's a very, very tiring, but I would say a very fulfilling day as well. It's done with the makeover, guys, and excited to show it all to you. Let's go. Hope you enjoyed this short makeover video and I hope that you can join me next time. For more content on plant traveling, garden and home improvement designs and landscaping, don't forget to like, subscribe and check out all our other videos here as well in Pinoy Platito. I'll see you again next time. Take care. Bye-bye.